Hello and welcome to Capitan Morgan's War Games. Today, this video is going to be about orcs and orc cultures, uh, specifically freebooters. But before we get into that, if you like my content, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button to stay up to con uh, date with my con all my content. Share, like, and possibly drop a comment. I love in interacting with you guys. And uh, without further ado, let's get into the main topic of the video, today's video. Now, we all know about evil suns, goths, bad moons, uh, pretty much, and Death Skulls. I mean, they're, they're probably your four main cultures, and they're the ones that get quite a bit of uh, play, especially on top tables. But I'm going to talk about one that I think is possibly undervalued and the Yes. By the way, so I'm going to talk about it and why I think it's such a great uh, little uh, cult uh, clan uh, um, bits and pieces that can go with it, and that is the freebooters. Now. Their warlord trait is re roll hit rolls of one for attacks made by friendly freebooter units in fa in a phase while within six inches of a warlord. Now, you add this to the uh, clan culture, which is add one to hit rolls for attacks made by models with this culture within 24 inches that has destroyed an enemy unit this phase. So, in the fight phase, you, you, you're looking at possibly hitting on, well, you're hitting on freeze with, with power, power claws and uh, kill swords and bits and pieces like that. But everything else, and re-rolling ones, everything else you're hitting with, hitting on twos, re-rolling ones, so it's pretty decent. And in the shooting phase, you, you, things like, you Flash gets will be hitting on threes, uh, and everything else will be hitting on. And uh, and you, if you were taking looters, you're hitting on four, fours rather than fives. Uh, then you've got the relic, the bad skull banner. Once per battle, at the start of morale phase, the bearer of the bad skull banner can choose to fly the flag on its boss pole. Uh, If they do so, friendly freebooter units will have passed morale so, until the end of the phase. So, well, once per battle, you can you fly the banner and, and you auto pass morale. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty big. You're not losing a unit. You're not giving you. Uh, any. Point, secondary points up if they, your opponent's got uh, the, the uh, morale test one and uh, you could also stay on and contest a objective if you with it. Now we get on to the uh, stratagem which is kill a cruiser broadside. It's three command points. I mean Use your stratagem at the start of your shooting phase, select up to D3 points on the battlefield, each more than six inches away from the other, and visible to a freebooter's unit from your army. Roll a D6 for each unit within three inches of any of those points. Subtract one from the result if the unit being rolled for is a character. On the five plus 
that stuff unit suffers D3 mortal wounds you can, and you can only use it once. It's a way of getting mortal wounds into a, to an enemy and if it's a, if, a, if there's a, if they're spread out a bit or if they're clumped together, especially if they're clumped, you've got five or six units clumped together, it's a way of ju just possibly adding mortal wounds to a uh, unit. It, it's not it's not a must have strat and but it's it's one at a certain point in the game where you might think well actually i could just do use you use that just to uh, clear a few extra bodies uh off the thing so i main reason for me thinking the Three booters are, are such strong. Ah, I mean, I use three of the uh, flash kits with Captain Badrock now. With them, they're hitting on threes or hitting on fours if they're moving. Uh, still, re rolling ones, you put. Uh, more daka daka with them, and they're pretty much maxing their shots out every time. Uh, and then they, 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 will, they will give other units around them that plus one. Your, your death copters are my death copters are then hitting on fours. Uh, My, my tank busters hitting on fours uh so it start it starts to become a pretty useful uh culture uh you had to be Auto-pass and morale, which is always good, especially for Orcs with such low <laughs> leadership. Uh, then you could add, as, as I said, the auto-pass morale would be a relic that is worth taking. Uh, and I think, I, I think it's a one that just slightly goes under the radar because of how good the other ones are straight off the bat, but the combination of of the clan culture, the uh, relic, and the and the warlord trait is pretty pretty decent. Well, let me know what you think. And I will. I have got a freebooters list which I'm uh, currently built. Stands at dead on two thousand points and waiting to play. I put it up in one of the your communities, uh, free the freebooter community. But let me know because. And, uh, I mean, we know Death Gold uh, is pretty, probably the go-to one because of the involve save and the reward one attack and bits and pieces. But here, with a Warlord trait of real you, you you could make a pretty strong list there. And if you were, you're not using the command point for the re-roll re-rolls to hit in the fight phase you're you're pretty darn you're pretty good at it for the rest of it it'll give you and again you as i said plus one to hit re-rolling ones 
in shoot for uh, for shooting for if flash gets in in the fight phase if you're within six of the uh warlord it, it's pretty pretty decent way of of saving command points for more valuable stratagems uh, I don't think there's anything else I can say about the pre-booters really. I think they're underestimated. I think it's it's one of those that sneaks under the radar. And I'll be looking forward to testing them out against uh, Nick and, and maybe other opponents when I get the chance. I know uh, my mate Dave who's been on the channel before and he's got his neck on. He's just got the Silent King and and a few bits so he'll be looking to play them as soon as they're done and we, we can start playing again so hopefully you'll see them on the channel as well thank you for watching thank you for watching if you've been have enjoyed please hit the like button Press the subscribe button and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also feel free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded.